Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Should you attend a wedding that has music or not? If you scour the internet, you'll find opinions ranging from those people who say there's no way, no matter what, you should definitely not attend those weddings to those who say that it's permissible. To be honest, the answer is not that black and white and not that simple. It does depend on a number of different factors and it can even differ from person to person depending on their circumstances. So before I say anything further on the issue, I want to say that it's best if you explain your situation to your local imam or the scholar that you trust um, and seek their advice before you make your decision. Okay, so usually I break this issue down as such. Generally, there are two types of wedding parties that have music especially in the Desi community. Uh, number one, weddings that have music uh, where there's a DJ and he or she is blasting music and there's a dance floor and there's aunties and uncles throwing it down on the dance floor. This type of wedding party, uh, it's pretty clear that it should be avoided. The exception would be if there are some extenuating circumstances in which one is obliged to go. And even in that case, a person should minimize their exposure to the haram. So for example, Spend as little time as possible at this wedding. Maybe go in, uh, give salams, hug your aunt, um, have some food. Uh, make sure your aunt uh, doesn't get super mad because you didn't attend. The second type of wedding is a wedding that contains music, but the music is not like all in your face. Uh, maybe it's background music or maybe uh, they play background music while the food is being served or something like that. This type of music could come under the issue of hearing the music rather than purposefully listening to it. And some scholars have permitted that type of exposure to music. And so it would be fine to attend this type of wedding as long as other sins are not taking place. But I would still say that in a situation like this, you should still try to minimize your exposure to the haram, uh, try to get out of there as, as soon as you can and be as comfortable as you can uh, in that situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته